So we've already talked about glands, right? We've talked about endocrine and exocrine glands as part of the endocrine system. Let's go into their tissue types, which you already also know from the introduction videos. Glands are made up of, um, typically there's, there's a couple exceptions where like there's single cells, um, but cuboidal or columnar epithelium. And so, it, and then typically it's going to be stratified. These two examples here are. So we're gonna see this as, these are the only examples of stratified cuboidal and stratified columnar epithelium. Here is one example of stratified cuboidal, the sweat glands. It will look at again next week with integumentary in the skin. And then example of stratified columnar is the salivary glands. The salivary glands, um, same components here with you know, apical and basal, all that stuff. And pretty clear what, what these are, right? They're layers of these thicker cells so this is going to be for um, a lot of secretion, right? These more than one layer, we can have a lot of stuff produced. So glands secrete stuff. That is the definition of a gland. That's what these tissue types are going to do. And remember, we talked last week about exocrine and endocrine glands. I showed you the same picture and a little bit about um, how these two glands develop, two types of glands, very general. Um, and the main idea here is knowing that exocrine is going to go to the outside. So either the surface of the skin or within the digestive system could be in a lumen um, within the body. And an endocrine gland is going to go into the bloodstream. And again, that's the definition of endocrine system is producing hormones that travel in the bloodstream. So these glands lose their connections to, to the surface, instead connect to the bloodstream. So as a learning check here, here's the, some endocrine glands we saw last week. What do these things secrete? What, I'm sorry, what is secreted by endocrine glands? I just said it. And what's the general name? And then what are the general examples? There's three types of this thing that we learned about last week. Okay, so gland structure, the most simple type of gland that I've talked about already are, is a goblet cell. This is an example of a unicellular exocrine gland. Um, so we saw these mucus producing cells where? Trachea and intestine. This here is the trachea. They're also present in the in intestine, um, other places as well. So this is a type of gland, it's pretty diverse in terms of what glands can be. But again, we're gonna use them as our examples of when we see stratified cuboidal and stratified columnar. So multicellular glands are, are those two tissue types. There's all these different types. Um, you don't need to memorize these. We will see a couple types as we go. So we will see um, sebaceous, which are oil glands in the skin. We will see, um, what else, where is, oh, merc merocrine, these, these sweat glands, they're like this. Um, intestines, we'll see in the spring, some other types. So you don't need to memorize these and classify these types. I want you to know there is diversity in the branching and structures of glands. That's it. However, I do want you to know about the modes of secretion from these glands. Um, we'll see more examples of this next week when we look at sweat glands again, but I want to go over the, these three modes right now. So um, three types of secretion from glands. Merocrine is when there's actually secretory vesicles and release of the substance. So whatever thing is being secreted by this gland variety of substances, sweats, oils, mucus, enzymes. Um, for merocrine, that's released via what is called exocytosis. So vesicle fusion with the membrane and release. This is going to release a lot at once and sometimes things that can't go through the plasma membrane, right? So we're not going to have, um, that's why it's vesicular transport, active transport process. Meric, I'm sorry, apocrine is when bits of this cell actually um, 
fall off. So this type of secretion, chunks of cell fall off. So this is actually kind of cytoplasmic separation. Chunks. They're surrounded by membrane though. Um, last one is holocrine. Holocrine is like, my, I think of that as whole. So the whole cell eventually dies. The cell bursts and its product is released. Um, so we'll see next week. These, again, sweat glands are going to be this type um, releasing that watery substance. And then sebaceous glands are going to be, that's, this oil producing glands are going to be this type. The other way to classify glands is by the stuff they produce. So the product. So the two main types for that, the general types are serous. This is watery stuff. So similar to the blood plasma, sometimes has enzymes in it, um, variety of types, or mucus. Mucus is more viscous. So that's going to be goblet cells are an example of that. There's also ones that are a combination, of course, right? There's complications. So these are seromucosal. This is a common mucosal, um, a common type um, found in, oops, that's not the right one. That's hyaline cartilage up there. These are seromucosal glands that are deep to the pseudostratified columnar epithelium also deep to some areolar tissue. So we'll see these, um, this type of gland as well. 